Let's get into the more different ones that you may not have seen all that much, uh, used all that much around. My fellow wine loving friends, Julian here. Before we get started with the video, there is something that you have to know about. This video was made possible by the Bonner Private Wine Partnership and the reason I work with them is not just because it's been called the most unique wine club in America, but because they truly love the wines that they choose for you. Founded by Will Bonner, the partnership is a small group of wine lovers who have come together to import excellent small batch wines that might otherwise get completely overlooked by large importers. They get them. Right now you can get your hands on three rare extreme altitude red wines from Argentina from some of the purest highest vineyards in the entire world, way up in the Andes mountains. No middlemen, no additive packed supermarket wines here, no inflated cost. Plus you'll get exclusive access to more wine education videos for me, just like the one you're about to watch, to make sure you become an educated wine connoisseur. So make sure to check out the link in the video description to see if you want to become partner in something truly special in the world of wine. But for now, back to your video. So we are going to be talking here about what is called an ASO wine bottle opener or a two prong wine bottle opener. Yes, because it's got two prongs here at the end of it that are going to be coming on the side of the cork and allow us to uh, untap the bottle of wine. So those do not come with a foil cutter, so I'm going to be using my foil cutter here. So this ASO wine bottle opener has two prongs, one that is longer than the other. This type is extremely good for very old bottles of wine when the cork has started to crumble and is a little bit fragile. If you drive a screw through the cork, there is a risk that you may destroy and the cork may crumble entirely. And this is when you want to use an ASO wine bottle opener. Because one of the prongs is longer than the other, you are going to start inserting the long prong first in between the cork and the glass. Insert the first prong and then the second one here. See, it comes in very very easy. Now the secret when you use one of those is that you want to wiggle your ASO opener from one side to the other just like this. One prong in, one side at a time, slowly 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 make sure that your cork is not going inside the bottle otherwise there is a risk that it comes in right in and splashes everywhere but if you do it gently this way it's very safe and easy, not much effort is needed. Once you have this, you just unseal the cork by turning your ASO bottle and then you start pulling gently as well as twisting and turning around. You can see how my cork is coming out ever so gently. Once your cork has come out a little bit, you grab your entire cork together with the ASO opener and here you go. This is exactly what you want to use if your cork is fragile and there's, there's a risk that it crumbles. So this is, if you're having old bottles of wine, this is uh, definitely a type of uh, wine opener that you want to have at home. It's nice and easy, it's precise with any type of corks as well. This doesn't work very well on synthetic type of corks. It's more for higher end natural cork types of wine bottles. Finally, or maybe it's not the last one, we are going to be looking at an air pump wine bottle opener. So this one is called Corky. It's made in Switzerland. It's a very, very nice build. What this has is a needle that is going to go inside uh, our cork and actually through the cork and it's going to allow us to pump air between the cork and the bottle and uh, we're going to be able to pump the cork right out. So you want to insert the needle inside the cork all the way through, all the way through, this way, and then you are going to be starting uh, pumping air in between the cork and the wine. You do want to hold this type of corkscrew so it doesn't splashes too much and so the cork doesn't 
pop right out and taking away everything and you can see how I'm pumping the corks out ever so slowly okay I've had an accident this is why you do want to hold your cork out there's wine everywhere uh, it doesn't matter so I was about to tell you that this is an excellent way to open a bottle of wine even though this has demonstrated that it is not in the end all that practical to have okay I'm gonna tidy up this mess now and um, yeah sponge everything off the desk and I'll be with you back in a minute so after cleaning up the mess that this uh, bottle opener has made for me, just because I'm not trained enough uh, to use them, this is only the second time I've used them. So lesson learned, if you use one of those, definitely put your hand and keep your hand on top of it so it doesn't splash everywhere and it doesn't make a mess. But back to tell you about the six type of wine bottle opener that I wanted to tell you about that is actually called a bunny ears bottle opener. I'm going to show you pictures of it here. Those are very, very handy, very, very practical. You just apply those, the handle on top of the bottle and then you insert the screw and then you pull it and the cork is instantly out. Those are very, very practical, very easy to use fantastic for beginners my only downside that i find is that they are pretty big so you always have to store them and know where they are stored they take a little bit of room and you have to take them out all the time and at the end of the day i used to have one i wish i still had it so i could show you how they work i used to have one but at the end of the day i wasn't using it all that much because it was always somewhere hidden uh, somewhere and I wouldn't practically use it very very often so I think those are good if you have large number of wine bottles uh, to open if you have a large gathering or if you are a professional those are very very handy because you can open bottles of wine extremely fast with those but practically I haven't found personally them very very handy to find to have there is also the second little wine accessory that I wanted to show you that is called a drop stop it's it's called yep it's a registered trademark it's called a drop stop you would have seen this at wine reseller doors at wine shops as well and what this allows you to do is that by simply putting this on top of your wine bottle this is going to prevent your wine from dripping and it's going to allow you to pour your wine very very elegantly very precisely and you don't have to worry about the wine dripping on your wine label or on your table and this is why professionals use this when they have to pour many glasses of wine very very handy to have in your cupboard it makes your serving experience a little bit better actually quite a bit quite a lot better especially if you have a white apron on your table yeah uh, those are very very handy handy to have and i wanted to share that with you now let's finish off with saying that there are many different types of wine bottle openers including for example this one that is made by Pultex that has some sort of graduation so you can insert your screw exactly down to the level that you want if you know exactly the size of your cork you may have noticed that some bottles of wine have longer corks than others generally speaking more expensive wines have longer cork because they do a slightly better job at protecting the wine from oxidation because they're longer so they are a bit tighter the oxygen takes more time to get in so that is why you have different sizes of corks but generally speaking for everyday wines the long the length of the cork doesn't matter all that much this to say that this particular type allows you to insert your screw to a very precise level because it's got a graduation on it and i'm going to show you how this one works just to illustrate that you will find many many different types of cork screws around uh, i can't test them all for you it's just a matter of maybe trying them if you can and finding the one that works for you so this type you're just uh, <coughs> going to apply the screw uh, just like this and you just screw and screw and the screw is going to come in and then the practical aspect of this it's got it's got a little handle like this and you just need to pump it out just like that i'm going to show you with another angle just like this and here you go it's pretty much out and voila 
So very easy. There are many ingenious wine openers uh, out there as well. Now, which one do I actually use personally myself here? Well, at the end of the day, I use one corkscrew that has been with me. I think we all have perhaps a bit of a story with one particular corkscrew or wine bottle opener that we love. Uh, this was given to me back in France back in 2007 I think when I was working at a particular uh, winery in Bordeaux area. It was given to me and I found that this type which is more like the waiter's uh, friend type, the very simple type is very very handy. This one is very well designed and what I love about this one is that it's got the foil cutter attached, integrated to it so I don't have to worry about having my corkscrew on one side and the foil cutter and finding them in the kitchen cupboards. It's all everything here. It's nice and easy, nice and simple, it doesn't take much place and that's why I use uh, this one as my daily driver. At the end of the day, sometimes the simple things are the best, but I'll leave it to you obviously to choose which type you like, which type you prefer. I hope this was a nice illustration, a nice demonstration of the variety of different types of wine bottle openers. I think it's it's fun to explore and experiment with different types to find the one that really stokes to you, really speaks to your heart. And I also find that it's great to have a bit of a story with your corkscrews because you associate it with good memories of sharing wines with friends. And um, yeah, that's all the fun. I hope this video was useful and I will see you soon in the wonderful world of wine. Looking forward to see you again next week for our new Bona Private Wines and our next Bona Private Wines video. Au revoir! Bye bye! Cheers!